we are thrilled to embark on our journey to the historic city of St. Augustine, Florida, where we camp at the beautiful Bryn Mawr Ocean Resort. During our stay, we experienced some of the wildest weather imaginable, prompting us to search online for does aluminum attract lightning? In this episode, we'll share an easy, low-cost trick to maintain the correct tire pressure and some enjoyable moments with our family. Oh my God, you traveled across the country with no gasoline? Are you kidding? <laughs> Oh boy, we're in the rain. So horrible, horrible storm last night. Thunder, lightning, very, very frightening. Three inches of rain. Uh, we got started at uh, like what? We got out like an hour and a half later than we wanted to this morning. It never let up. Four inches of rain, lightning strikes less than a mile away. And we're in an aluminum trailer. Actually, that's actually safe. Aluminum and copper used as shielding for lightning, so it didn't feel so bad about that. That's what they say. That's what they say. But, you know, you try packing up four days worth of stuff in a downpour, rain slickers on, trying to unhook everything, get the hoses put away, cooler, barbecue grill. We are soaking wet. We basically put our bathing suits on, and uh, since it's Florida, 85 degrees, we just did it in the rain. Oh, Florida. Um, Anyways, we're hooked up, we're soaking wet, um, trying to get out of the storm. Uh, what are the tips and tricks for <laughs> an electric vehicle, an electric trailer? No different than a regular vehicle on a regular trailer. I don't know. You're going to be wet. If we could have, I would have waited another day. Yeah, if you can stay another day, do it, but then you risk doing your trip up. Basically, just expect to get wet. And to be honest, if it's warm rain, put your bathing suit on and do your bathing suit and then throw dry clothes on when you're done, which is what we did. Um, I don't have any more advice other than that. We could have put more in the car last night, um, but it was also raining and lightning last night, and you know, human beings out in the rain when it's lightning is not a good thing. Oh, I know what to do. Yeah. Don't, don't go, go to Florida. Florida. <laughs> hey, hi, hello. My name is Venkat. I'm from Denver, Colorado. Traveling the country? Oh yeah, traveling, yes. You know, we made it from, you know, like Colorado all the way to New Mexico and then to Florida. We went to the Destin and then, you know, we are like going back now to Illinois and then we will go to Nebraska and then, you know, like South Dakota maybe and then down to Denver. All, all then, in a Tesla. Oh yeah. And is there any other car that you would buy? No. I love my car. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Chris. Hey, Chris. And, and I'm Dave. Hey, Dave. And that's Smokey. Smokey. Yeah, there's nothing we, we don't like, but we have, we, we are an early adapter. So it's a 2013 December. So it's, this is the nine and a half years so far. Did you guys get free charging for life? Yes. We get free charging for life. And uh, back to your first question, we did have a problem early on with the um, drivetrain dropped out. Okay. <laughs> it, 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 it stopped. There was a, uh, a, a well-known problem with the early adapted, uh, the early Model S's had to do with a journal right at the end of the, right at the drive train. And ours did go after five years. And it's fixed under warranty, oh, they, under no, warranty no problem. Under warranty, oh, yeah. they, they fixed it. They, even, even the uh, towing tow charge. Okay. Which was from northern Wisconsin to Milwaukee, to Chicagoland. North Chicago. Land. Chica North Chicago. Yeah. So it was a big tow charge, and they paid it. We camped at Bryn Mawr Ocean Resort along the coast. The first few days were gorgeous beach days. And then, well, the weather became a bit crazy with rain, lightning, and wind that ended our stay. Nonetheless, we enjoyed the beach and got a lot of good time out in the sand. During our time in St. Augustine, we visited Ford's Garage, a fantastic place for burgers and brews. It boasts a 1920s service station Vintage 5, paying homage to America's most iconic automotive brand. It was truly a mouth watering experience, but also delighted in spending time with family and friends.
If you're visiting Palm Springs, California, stop by I Fresh Cuts for a great haircut or just to chill out. Located near the center of downtown Palm Springs with plenty of shopping and food. Don't forget to like us, subscribe, and share our YouTube channel online.